What's up everyone, Kevin Ray here from Bitcoin for Beginners, and today I want to share with you a tutorial video on how to use my Ether wallet to create Ethereum wallets and send and receive Ethers and ERC20 tokens. So the website you have to go to is www.myetherwallet.com and let me just refresh the page. you get this pop-up here and this is really good information so if you haven't read it before I encourage you to go through this whole resource but I've already read it before so I'm gonna to go to the main site and you can create a new wallet straight from this website however it is recommended that you do it offline instead because if your computer is compromised your internet connection or this website if you're on a phishing website for example that could potentially compromise your password private key, key store file, etc. So how do you use this offline? Well, you go here to this bottom right column on the footer called GitHub, latest release, and you click it. Takes you here, download this etherwallet.zip. I've already done that already. Let me go to Finder. And then you unzip it, go here, click on index but before that I'm gonna go offline okay look I'm turning off my Wi-Fi so I'm offline and this still works all the source code for the website is in that zip file so you can use it completely offline but once again you have to make sure you have a clean computer not affected with malware but even if it is affected with malware if the computer is never connected to the internet then the malware program can never send it out back to the hacker so Maybe it's a good idea for you to have a computer that's clean and completely offline just to create and store your wallets for different cryptocurrencies. Okay, so see, you see the same page again, just as if we were online mode, but we're offline right now. Okay, so we're going to create a password. There we go. Create new wallet. Download this key store file. Do not lose it. Please save it. Do not share it and make a backup, okay? I understand continue here's your private key you can save this down to print paper wallet good idea to print this um, make sure that your printer is also safe and not compromised with a virus per se so print this out or you can write it out by hand laminate it put it in a safe or safety deposit box and you should be good okay save your address and then now you can unlock your wallet to see your address I'm going to use this key store file so this says that it's not a recommended way to access your wallet, but since that we're supposing that this computer is offline and free of malware, we can do this for now. Okay, select wallet file, it's encrypted, enter the password, unlock. And there you go, so this is the information of the wallet you just created, that is your public Ethereum address. So what you can do now is just take this address and go to your online computer and send yourself ethers from Coinbase or send yourself ERC20 tokens which are most of the tokens out there that are ICOs for example from like Binance or like Ether Delta or whatnot you can send it to this address so it can carry your ethers and ERC20 tokens securely because your private key and key store file are on a clean offline computer it was generated there and it's never gone online, so you don't have to worry about malware programs being able to communicate with hackers. And so once again, you can take this public address and send stuff to it and just hodl and not have to worry about security. But the issue is, if you want to now move stuff from here, you have to go back online. And there are a few ways to do it with various ranges of security. I'm going to talk through a few and just show you one way, okay? Let's go back online first. Turn Wi-Fi on. And here I go, I'm connected. And see, this is the offline file, okay? I'm going to go back to the online website. And as always, please make sure this is not a phishing site. You can check that it says My Ether Wallet LLC, and the certificate is valid too. Always good to check that. Uh, make sure this L isn't like an I, an uppercase I or something. Okay, so you can go to this tab, Send Ethers and Tokens. And you can do it with a variety of ways. MetaMask, Ledger Wallet, Trezor key store JSON file, private key, you can use all those different ways. You can also send offline. So on a high level what you have to do is generate some information 
uh, from an online computer based on the address of the wallet and then go to the offline computer, the one that we were logically thinking about that's free of malware, not connected to the internet, that you downloaded the raw source file for this website to and you use that to generate your wallet. So you take the information that you generate from the online computer, bring it over there, and then from that computer, you can like decide how much coins or ethers you want to send, sign it from there, alongside the information you generated from the online computer, and then take the output of the offline computer back here and just paste it here, and then press send transaction, and that should make your transaction go through without ever exposing your private key, your key store file, or your wallet information that's on the secure computer to the outside internet. However, that's a little bit more complicated of a way to do so. They do have a guide on how to do that. Instead, I'm just going to show you a simpler way, which is not as secure, but it's okay in my opinion if you can double check the URL and SSL certificate because this lets you just do it straight from within the MyEtherWallet interface. So it is the most simple and hassle-free way to go, even if it's not as secure. Okay, so press unlock. Here you go, you can see I already have some ethers in here. I also have two Kanye coins. So you can click on show balance, scroll down to your coin and press click to load. It'll show up. However, I also know that I have some other tokens that aren't on this list because this list is definitely not exhaustive. So you can go to Etherscan, go to token right here, search right here, right here, Sophia TX, and usually can tell if it's the right one if it has a lot of addresses. Copy this contract address, go back to here, add custom token, paste it here, Token symbol is SPHTX, and decimals you can get from here to 18. 18. Save. And see, it showed up. I sent two here earlier as well. And now it shows up in this drop down too, okay? So you can send Ethers, Kanye Coins, or Sophia TX to any other Ethereum address now. But do know that you need to have enough gas in your wallet to send your ERC20 tokens. So you need to fund it with some ethers too before you can send or transfer your ERC20 tokens. So let me just show you one of them, okay? Okay, I'm going to send to this address my Sophia TX, send entire balance. This is going to update automatically so you don't have to worry about it. Generate transaction, this is okay. Send transaction, blah, blah, blah. Okay, send to this address. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Boom. And it has been broadcasted to the network, blah, blah, blah. Click this verify transaction, and you can see it on Etherscan. So it's just pending right now. Give it a few seconds. And voila, success. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful for you. I've showed you a very secure way of generating an Ethereum wallet offline, so you don't have to worry about any compromised data going out of your computer to the internet to a potential hacker. I've also kind of briefly touched on how you can use the send offline feature without diving too deep into this because this is a little bit more complex of a process. And finally, I've gone to the send ether and tokens tab and showed you how to do it in a slightly more unsecure way. But as long as you take some precautions like double checking the URL and SSL certificate and making sure that your computer is not compromised with like a key logger or malware, you should be okay with this approach as well because it is easy and allows you to work completely within the MyEtherWallet system without requiring some outside integration with like MetaMask or Ledger per se. Even though it is simple to do so, so you should consider trying those out as well. But anyways, I hope this was helpful. I know a lot of y'all asked for information about this, so I wanted to make it for y'all. And now without further ado, to our Ethereum giveaway. Now remember, the last video we announced a giveaway on was this one how to use IDEX exchange. So I'm going to choose a winner right here with a random comment picker. Start raffle. Voila, Jonelle Lennox. Congratulations for winning. And if you guys are interested in winning again, same thing as always, click like, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment below with what you thought about this video. Would greatly appreciate if you share my videos as well. 
But this is it. I am out, and I'll see you next time.